أعيني باللقاء يا حبيبي يا حبيبي ببابك سيدي كانت تلاقي فهل لي عودة The right question that is calling for an answer is why don't Muslim in Nigeria feel uncomfortable by the Muslim women, young ladies wearing hijab, khimar, and niqab in their institution, offices, and other places? Meanwhile, some feminists, some institutions, and public services often portrayed hijab as a symbol of oppression and slavery of women. In fact, their position is not correct, as wearing hijab is an act of obedience to the instruction of Allah in the Quran. The use of hijab is only made compulsory on Muslim. It is therefore surprising when people who do not believe in the Islamic teaching claiming to be protecting the women in Islam. This is what emanated protests in the University of Ibadan, International School Ibadan, ISL, by the Muslim parents on behalf of their female children who were refused by the school authority to wear hijab on their school uniform. Some of the Muslim parents who instituted legal actions against the institution on behalf of their children includes Dr. Taufik Yakin, who is also the current national president of the Muslim Students Society of Nigeria, Idris Badiru, Shakiru Babanide, Muidin Akerele, Abdurrahman Balogun, and nine others. Today, the 14th of May 2019, is the fifth court attendance on this matter. The State High Court in Ibadan has fixed hearing of the preliminary objection for today in a fundamental human rights suit filed by the Muslim parents on behalf of their female children, but this could not hold. Not the hearing because um, one of the respondents must have their contact David and uh, written address which, which constitutes his defense in this case to our location very late and out of fact. Because of that, he has filed the file application for a second of time. We have five processes and that application. So we don't have that same um, <laughs> respondent also filed a new supplementary objection, which have been adjourned for hearing on the 25th. Wow. Uh, so, uh, for a layman who wants to hear the outcome of this, uh, yes. what would you tell them in the ordinary? Instance? Okay, in the ordinary, the, uh, the hope the, for, for the applicants, for those of us who filed the case, who are also representing them, are who we start. What has not occurred is that because of circumstances beyond our control, the case has not been heard today. It will be heard eventually, and when it's heard, we have high hope and expectation that we are going to have it today in this case. So, what would we be asking for? Now, what we are asking for for this course is a declaration that the female Muslim students of international school in Ibadan are entitled to use hijab on their school uniforms once they are parents wish for it or they desire it. That is what we are asking for and that is what we expect to get as judgment of this court eventually. The applicant counsel Mr. Hassan Fajimite, in his originating summon, has said that the action of ISL Ibadan Authority violates the right to freedom of thought, religion, and right to education, as contained in Section 38, among others, of the Nigerian Constitution. 
It is awful that justice will prevail for the Muslims parents. We are very good. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, we come out uh, victorious. It is a matter of constitutional rights. Uh, the constitutional grants, the everybody freedom to uh, the right of uh, religion is contained in uh, section 38 of the constitution. So, and uh, in several decided cases, the court has said that uh, the use of hijab is part of the fundamental right of the constitution. At the court sitting today, which earlier set for preliminary hearing, which could not hold, and Justice Laniron Akintola of the Oyo State High Court as fixed 25th of June for the hearing. Parents, Islamic Organization, Muslim Student Society of Nigeria, Muslim, were all represented at the court nine to witness the proceedings. Abdurrahman Balogo, one of the parents who spoke to Uma War TV, said the prayer of the parents is that their female daughter should be allowed to practice their religion without any denial whatsoever. That is the injunction of Allah that we want to uphold, and then uh, the denial of that, apart from the fact that it's a fundamental human right of the, uh, a fundamental human right of uh, the children, it is also a defined intention for women. So we, we have every hope that uh, our request will be granted. So what is that request? That the request is that we want our Muslim girls to be adorning that in line with the details of the creator, in line with the concern of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The, the, the ISI people, the international school you are, I don't want to deny them. So we want them to be very which is Allah, and it is only for Muslim girls who are willing. We are not com uh, com uh, uh, compelling. No, 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 no. Even Muslim girls that don't want to wear it, it's not compelling. This act is painful, and it is also an abuse of power, which we hope the courts will pronounce victory for the innocent female students for of the school. Would this put an end? To this kind of authority recklessness and abuse of power against a lawful act of obedience to Allah, only time will tell. From the State High Court here in Ring Road in Ibadan, Okikiola Kosi reporting for Matthew.